Hello and welcome to Arcade ZA. My name is Sibum Banza and today we're going to review the Cat S52 smartphone. It's a phone for everyone, not just masculine men like me. Today's phones break before you even get out the store, but not this one. For the first time, we have a phone that actually lasts. The S52 can resist sand, dust, dirt, and can handle immersion in water to 1.5 meters depth for up to 35 minutes. It can also handle specified levels of vibration, salt mist, humidity, and thermal shock. So if you have the phone in the same pocket as your mixtape, it'll be fine. When Kat called it a rugged phone, I think I was a little bit worried. I expected a chunky piece of metal, but I'm pleasantly surprised. It doesn't seem rugged to me, more tough. It's slimmer than expected at just over nine millimeters and pretty light, weighing 210 grams. The S52 has an IPS panel screen with great resolution. So if you want to watch a Netflix show during a severe thunderstorm, you're sorted. Unlike other phones, you can use it with wet fingers or if you're wearing gloves because, you know, people just, just walk around with gloves. The extra thick layer of Gorilla Glass makes it all possible to finish with an ever so light raised outer edge. Now the aluminum frame feels like a phone cover that you can't really take off. Not a problem though. It carries all the usual buttons and knobs. On the right, you have your usual power button and the volume button. On the top, you have your usual headphone jack and at the bottom, a speaker and USB-C charging port. Well done, cat. Yes, Apple. That was your sub. On the back, you'll find your camera, flash, and fingerprint reader. I'm a huge fan of these types of fingerprint readers. I just, I think it's cool how my finger just naturally lands there every single time. Just, it just makes sense. Right above, we have a huge logo. I don't think it's necessary. Nobody, nobody's really gonna mistake this for any other brand. On the front, we have bezels. The top bezel houses the front camera, uh, the earpiece, ambient light sensor, and the LED. I haven't used notification LEDs in years though. It's just way too much anxiety. It's like, what could it be? Is it a bag, credit card debt? Is it my mom? Is it George practicing one of his puns on me? We have a dual pixel Sony sensor on the 12 megapixel back camera. And for a phone this range, it does pretty well in low light. So. If you wanted to use this as a groove phone, you're in luck. Kat claims that this is the best camera on a rugged phone. I wouldn't disagree. The S52 has a 2.3 gigahertz processor, four gigs of RAM, and 64 gigs of internal storage, offering lots of space for those videos that you told your girlfriend you don't watch anymore. The S52 retails around 11,000 South African rands, and I'll leave links in the description to where you can buy it. As someone who travels and loves the outdoors, I would definitely cop one of these. I went to Thailand last month and my phone wasn't coping at all. Understandably so. I was constantly worrying about how the elements would affect it, the dust, the water. But if I had this with me, I wouldn't have to worry so much. Let me know in the comments below if you were also today years old when you found out that Cat makes phones. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Food Tech from me and OK Wasabi. We'll see you soon.